Hi Libra, welcome, welcome to your angel card reading for the month of January. This is Miriam, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Libra, I decided to switch it up this month and do an angel card reading instead of messages from your spirit guides. And I was thinking of switching it up every month and doing a different theme. So it could be spirit messages, angel messages, uh, wisdom of the um, world messages or spirit animal messages or something like that but depending on how these spiritual readings go i may discontinue them for now they're not really getting a lot of views i enjoy doing them but i'd rather give you guys uh what you would want rather than doing readings that people aren't enjoying and i may also discontinue the general readings as they're not really getting a lot of views either seems like the love readings is what everybody likes to see the love and the singles so you can leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think um if you would like me just to solely concentrate on love readings or if you like the general and the spiritual readings too, um, let me know what you think. And I may discontinue the um, Element Energy weekly forecast. As of right now, they're not really going so well either. I may give it a try a few more weeks, see how it goes. Um, but again, leave me a comment below and tell me what you think. So Libra, let's see what's going on. Let's see what your angel team wants to tell you for the month of January or for whenever you see this I do consider all my readings timeless so even though they're dated so this is for whenever you see this till whenever and if you like to go back and watch previous readings you're more than welcome you can check out my channel especially if you're new all the Libra playlists are below they go uh, there's two categories down below there's love and general so the singles and the uh, love connections are under love and the general and the spiritual readings are under general readings. So please feel free. And there's tons of stuff down there in the description box. Uh, decks I'm using, social media links, your playlist, how to reach out for personal reading, if you'd like to send a gift or tip or donate. All that is below. So please feel free to check it out. So I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you had a great Christmas. Happy New Year. Let's see what your angel team wants to tell you at this time libra 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 i will pull three <clears throat> oracle cards from each deck and then i'll go over what they are and then i'll pull one tarot card for each uh, message to give a little more meaning and go over the bottom of the tarot deck also and also i have the angel answers over here so if there's any question you want to ask your angel team, it can be anything at all, anything you want, or anything you need advice or guidance on. We'll see. I'll pull one from that at the end and see if we can get an answer or if we can get advice or guidance, whatever you're thinking of at this time. All right. So let's get three of these for Libra. Those two are stuck together. One more for Libra. Okay, and we'll get three more with this deck. So Libra, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. And if um, you're new, like I said, check out my channel. If you like what you see, you're more than welcome to uh, subscribe, like, share, comment. I love to read the comments. Subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. Like I said, right now I'm doing four readings a month, but I may narrow it down to bi-weekly just love readings. So I haven't decided yet, but check it out. You like what you see. Please do subscribe. Be greatly appreciated. All the support everybody gives the channel is totally uh, appreciated. I couldn't do it without you guys. So no matter how you've supported, whether you've tipped, donated, liked, subscribed, shared, um, sent a gift, reached for personal reading, it's all greatly, greatly appreciated. So I couldn't do it without you guys. So let's see what your angel messages are. This is the Guardian Angel deck. We have Freedom. I may read a little bit out of the book with these. We have Grace, and we have Archangel Michael. So we have an Archangel here, Guardian Angel, coming straight through for you. So you may want to uh, research on, you're wondering, like, I don't know what angel to reach out to, to connect with, to help, you know, guidance, support, or whatever. One of them here may be uh, Michael, and we'll get three more over here. So we may have repeating Michael, I don't know. So there's a lot of Archangels in this deck. So we'll see what we get. But let's read these cards here. So there may be a message in there for you. So, I mean, freedom could be... And, and freedom also falls under Archangel Michael. As you see, it's outlined in blue. So Archangel Michael is strongly coming through here. 
So let's read uh, Freedom for you first. I'll hold it up so you can look at it while I read it. Despite the constraints of everyday life, we all have a free will. And exercising it is an essential part of our spiritual journey. Freedom can feel risky and involves your taking responsibility for everything that you say or do. However, turning away from freedom and staying within safe limits or letting anyone else control your actions or thinking will restrict you as a person. The angel of freedom shows you that you have a choice to act with love in life or to react in fear. Trust your intuition. Ask the angel for the courage to follow your heart, to break free from restrictions and to soar high, acting out of love for both yourself and others. Take the opportunities that the angel sends and give thanks for, give thanks to her for her help. So that's freedom. So you may ask if you're having trouble with something, freeing yourself from something, you may want to call upon Archangel Michael to help you. You know, research and learn about Michael and how to work with him. I'm not an angel um, expert per se, but um, he may really help you to uh, free yourself from something here or something constraining you, holding you back. So Grace here with the white border. Let's see, I'll tell you what angel that falls under. So if you want to also look up that angel is Archangel Gabriel and Grace. Let's see. Okay, here we are. Grace. Traditionally, grace was seen as a regenerating power granted by God. The angel of grace reminds you that this sacred energy is always available to you and that you will enrich your life by embracing graciousness and gratitude. If you are grappling with a painful or difficult problem, the angel of grace will help you to bear it by giving you the courage to make positive changes and the grace to accept what must remain. All you have to do is relax, open your heart, and surrender to your fears, troubles, and worries to her. When you notice any improvement or find yourself more accepting and able to cope, feel your, feel, feel your heart fill with gratitude. Know that the angel of grace is equally grateful that you have called upon her. So that's a strong message there. So there's grace and gratitude, asking for grace, getting grace. Gratitude, appreciation. So Archangel Michael coming through here for you twice with freedom and straight through here. So Archangel Michael, the name Michael in Hebrew, this is a long one to read here, means who is as God in Jewish and Christian tradition. Michael was Lord of the Archangels in the Bible. He was commander in chief of the heavenly armies. And for this reason, he was often portrayed in art wearing armor and carrying the sword of truth. He also weighed souls on Judgment Day, so would sometimes be depicted holding scales of justice. Today, Michael is the archangel whom we invoke in the battle against negativity. He stands for protection, power, purification, and initiative, and supports the weak as well as the strong. Representing autumn and the south, Michael symbolizes fullness and fruition. He char his characteristic colors are strong blue and red. He is associated with the element of fire and is said to bring the light of the sun into our hearts. He burns away all that is transient and unnecessary, leaving only that which is pure and true to shine forth. Working with the energy of Archangel Michael can help us to fight injustice or support us when we feel alone or overwhelmed by life. He will reignite the flame of love and passion in our hearts and lift our spirits into light. When we face challenges, he prompts us to take action and gives us the resolve to per persevere. Michael is the natural ally of those who, who hold a leadership role in life. If you are seeking to be protected and empowered, you may feel drawn to use the Michael card as a focus for meditation. You can also use the card when asking the Archangel to overlight a reading. Oh, that's for uh, readers. But... Um, Ask him to grace you with his presence. He will bring you the energy of courage. So some of you may need courage and strength here to fight an injustice or get justice in a situation, to be brave and strong. Okay, so let's see. We have career transition, Archangel Chamuel. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So some of you could be thinking about changing a career. And if you are... I think it's divinely guided. Your angels are supporting you in that. 
We have Comfort, Archangel Azrael. I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. So something here, um, you need comfort and healing in some way. That uh, Archangel Azrael can help with that healing and bring you comfort. We have Nurture, Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you're, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you, for you right now. So nurturing yourself, nurturing your child from within, any uh, childhood traumas or scars or anything like that. Healing and nurturing them. Okay, so what do we have here? We have Opal. Let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger-than-life side to the world. Hmm. So don't be afraid to be yourself. This could be with that career transition, finally being who you truly are and really sparkling and shining in some sort of career transition here. Dalmalite, stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. So keeping in a high vibration here, faith, hope, and optimism, positive energy. We have Calcite here, busy times and multitasking. Take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy. So some may need to face something here. Is there something you're needing to face that you don't really want to face so you keep yourself busy and occupied so you don't have to deal with a situation or making a decision or something like that? So it's time to really look at why you are um, putting something off, you know, in either making a decision or something like that or making a change. Are dealing with something so let's see so you have three different colors here so all right so let's get we're gonna get one card for each and we'll go over each and then still think of your um, question here and we'll pull an angel answers for you at the end let's see what we get Okay, this is the before tarot. All right, what do we have here? So we have freedom and we have judgment. Yeah, making a decision here to free yourself from something that is weighing you down, holding you back, needing to uh, maybe forgive something, maybe, you know, forgiving a situation, person, place, or thing will bring you, you know, that freedom from within that you can finally let it go kind of energy also. So different meanings here. Some of you, you know, may need to ask for forgiveness or give forgiveness so you can just finally free yourself from something and let it go. Some of you need to make a final decision or a judgment call whether or not you need to leave something no longer serving you and freeing yourself from that energy so that you can move on. So different meanings there. Uh, that's what I'm getting with that card. And then we have grace and we have the hierophant. So this is being... Um, Faith, hope, optimism, it's spiritual, it's religion, it's doing what's moral, just, and right, being grateful and being um, appreciative of everything, being in that high spiritual divine energy is with the Hierophant, and being committed to staying in that energy of being, you know, grateful and appreciative and being graceful kind of energy also is what I'm getting with that. Okay, we have Archangel Michael here, Nine of Swords. Yeah, so if you're feeling down and out and stressed and overworked and tired, uh, nervous, um, anxiety, having fear, staying up at night, can't sleep, I don't know what to do, I don't know how to go, go about and do this, I don't know how to get my courage up to face this, I'm you know, very nervous and anxious about this whole thing, I think you really need to, uh, especially at night, maybe when you're laying in bed, Ask Archangel to come, Archangel Michael to come and help you, guide you, to ease your mind, to bring you peace and harmony, give you the courage and strength you need to face whatever uh, fear you're having here, whatever is holding you back, keeping you up at night. You see his light shining here. He can help shine light on the situation so you're not in this energy. All right, so we have... Career transition, Archangel Chamuel. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So we have the three swords. The three, three swords here is about pain and heartache. Um, but this is the before tarot. 
So whatever situation you're in now, if you're in a career that's not serving you, if there's a lot of negative energy, toxic energy, a lot of backstabbing and things like that, I think it may not be too bad right now, but I think they're trying to tell you here, if you've been thinking about changing your career or whatever, it's probably best to do it before these three swords really pierce in your heart. Something may happen. Things could get worse. Um, it could be a very hurtful, painful situation that could arise or something like that. So I think before that happens, while your heart is whole here, is to make this trans uh, career transition change, um, you know, as soon as you can, as, as soon as you're able to. So we have here Comfort, Archangel Azrael. I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. So we have the Emperor here. So the Emperor is someone, you know, takes control, lead charge, uh, ruler, boss, or something like that. Takes control over their life. So if you've been trying to um, control your feelings, control um, your emotions and that kind of energy and not really dealing with all those energies and not really letting yourself heal, just trying to control it and keep it under wraps, I think it's time to um, deal, deal and heal, I, I'm getting. <laughs> it's time to not control it so much and just deal with it so you can heal it and then you don't have to suppress it so much. So we have here nurture Archangel Gabriel as you nurture a child you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for your for you right now. So we have the tower so there may have been something uh, that happened that was very um, I'm, I'm getting maybe as a child something really uh, kind of bad happened to you, um, disruptive, sort of kind of bad energy, and maybe you've, that could be what you're not healing here also with the Emperor and Comfort. So whatever you happened in the past here, um, it's time to deal, deal and heal again, nurture yourself and that inner child wound. Um, and you see the tower it hasn't quite struck yet. It's almost getting ready to strike. So, I mean, this, you could have like a fallback, you could have another tower moment about your past, something could trigger you, and you could have like a total meltdown, but before that happens, maybe you really need to, like I said, deal and heal with the situation before you have like, some of you may not resonate for everybody, may have a, like a big meltdown or something like that. That makes sense for some. Okay, so what do we have here? Let yourself sparkle and shine, Opal. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. So yeah, Ace of Swords, so new beginning, letting yourself sparkle and shine. And this could be that career transition where you can shine. This is the sword of victory, the sword of truth and communication and being who you truly are, being open and honest, cutting away things no longer serving you. So divinely guide a brand new beginning here where you can sparkle and shine and be victorious. And we have here Dalma Light, stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. So staying uh, positive, faith, hope, optimism, high vibration. Yeah, five of cups. So this is sadness, uh, loss, loneliness, hurt kind of energy. So, and there's two, usually it depicts three, only one cup is knocked over, but this is the before. So um, something may come up that may be painful or hurtful or may cause you to be sad but it's telling you to stay in that high vibration to try to get through it. So you see your third eyes kind of lit up there, being divinely connected, listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. Um, and usually the five of cups depicts the three cups knocked over, but there's always two still filled behind you. So whatever cups get knocked over in your life, you always have cups that are still standing and full. So to stay you know, strong in that faith and high vibration, so we have calcite, busy times and multitasking. Take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy. And yeah, seven of pentacles. So though the seven of pentacles is an energy of like investing, but then waiting for your crop to harvest. Uh, it's like assessing, uh, evaluating, you know, and that kind of energy and just patiently waiting. So I think you've been waiting to deal with something and you kind of been putting it on the back burner, putting it off, but keeping yourself busy in other aspects so you don't really have to deal with it. 
yeah, it's like you're waiting. I'm just going to wait. I'll deal with that after. But I think maybe it may be time now to really, it could be career oriented or money oriented or something like that. It doesn't have to be. But I think it's time to deal. A lot of deal here. <laughs> A lot of heal and deal or just deal. It's time to deal for some of you. And let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is like the wounded warrior. So he's getting ready to go into battle here with this wolf. Um, but he's not beat up yet. So the wound, this is the wounded warrior. You know, he keeps fighting, keeps going on, keeps, keeps persevering on when he has to. King of Swords, again, truth, clarity, open, honest communication, being true to who you are, cutting away the BS, that kind of energy. But yet being a little bit bored and complacent, you got the King and Queen of Swords here. So a real need here for truth and clarity, honesty, cutting away energies no longer serving you, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS. As you see, you know, drinking from your own cup, nourishing yourself, and standing up for yourself when you have to. All right, so let's see. Let's get an answer, guidance, message pertaining to whatever you're thinking of right now, whatever question you have in mind for Libra. Let's see, what do we have for Libra at this time pertaining to whatever they're thinking of? Their question for Libra, please. Can we get one card from the angel team for Libra? Yes, so whatever you're thinking about, and it's with the exclamation point. There's two cards in this deck. One just says yes, and one with an exclamation point. So your answer is yes with a big exclamation point. <laughs> and the situation will improve. So... Those are your answers from the angels. Okay, Libra, so best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.